Huh, I wonder what happened here. Yeah, well, I guess there's no Oreos left in the house. Although, I think I have one more pack in the kitchen. Where's my box? Uh-huh. Oh no! I guess Sam got to my stash too. Guys, I'm so fed up with this slime. I need to think of how to punish him. Uh-oh. I'll make a huge Oreo cake. And I won't share it with Sam. That'll teach him. So, um, I'll need this too. Mm-hmm. Well now, I believe I've got everything I need here. <laughs> Guys, I think she's gonna make a cake without me! I have to do something about it, like, now! Well, guys, today we're going to make a huge Oreo cake. I'll mix the ingredients with this bowl. For starters, we'll need roughly 530 grams of flour. If you're going to try this recipe, though, the amount of flour you'll take depends on the size of your cake. The guys and I are making an Oreo cake. Now we need to add baking powder, 16 grams. There we go. Oh, and why didn't you invite me to bake with you? It's time for some dark cocoa powder. Let's add it to the flour. I see now. You aren't talking to me. Don't you have any idea why I'm bearing a grudge against you? Well, I haven't learned to read your mind yet. What do you say about this evidence? Huh? Hey, it wasn't me who ate it all. It's all Fluffy. He did it with his own teeth. Yeah, right. Only Fluffy doesn't eat cookies. Hmm. We only need to mix all the ingredients now. There. See? Now we need to beat 14 chicken eggs. So I suggest you take a big and deep bowl. It's easier and faster to beat eggs with a mixer. But if you don't have one, you could do it with a whisk. Vroom, vroom. Candy delivery! Good that it's not Oreo cookies. Guys, Sue doesn't want to forgive me. Please comment under this video and say that I'm a good slime. To make the cookies sweet, I'll add a lot of powdered sugar. 350 grams. There, all done. Be careful with the mixer at this step to make sure the powdered sugar doesn't fly all over the place. What about adding some salt, too? Yeah, sure. Let's add some salt. Oh, I almost forgot. We should add 210 grams of vegetable oil. Now we need to mix everything carefully. Right, Sammy. Guys, let's have a poll. Do you like cakes? Then write in the comments, what's your favorite kind? Chocolate, berry, or maybe ice cream cake? Personally, I love cake with fruit and whipped cream. Mmm, yummy. Okay, it's time to mix the ingredients for the Oreo cake. Maybe it will be my favorite kind of cake from now on. Sue, so, there's something I need to tell you. If it's something urgent, I'm listening. Uh, I want to make a confession. It was me. I ate all the cookies. But I'm ready to make it right, so I bought you a whole new pack of Oreos. Here you go. All these cookies are yours. Oh, it's so nice of you. Besides, we can use these cookies for our cake filling. Also, I'm very glad that you didn't try to be sly about it and came clean. I forgive you. By the way, our dough is almost ready. We only need to add a little bit of milk. That's the chocolate and milk kind of dough we made. Now let's pour it into our baking molds. No need to hurry. It's important to have enough dough for both molds. Yeah, it looks like our cookie is going to be truly gigantic. Time to place our dough into the oven. While our dough is in the oven, Sue and I are gonna make the filling. We'll need 400 milliliters of heavy whipping cream and then Oreo cookies. Mmm, yum, yum. And... 15 grams of powdered sugar, Sammy. Right. First, we'll mix cream. 
and sugar powder. You should whip it to get a thick mixture that looks like a cloud. Sam, does our filling look like a cloud? Let me see. Huh, it's quite a fluffy cloud, just like the real thing. Now we're going to break the cookies that Sam gave me. <laughs> oh, come on. I already said I'm sorry. Silly Sammy. <laughs> we need it for our filling. Yeah? Well, okay then. You know what? Let's add all our cookies at once. Here we go! Now let's mix our whipped cream and broken cookies. Carefully, though. I want to make sure our cloud stays fluffy. A cloud with cookies? It's a miracle! Oh! It's time to get our dough out of the oven! Oh, hurry up and save the dough! Wow! Our cake cracked a little, so now it looks like an exploded volcano. <laughs> Don't you think it's a little too high for a cookie? Yeah, so we'll carefully cut the top layer off. Nice. Be careful. <laughs> Better ask an adult to help you. Mm, may I take the cookie cap and try it? Sure, if you can carry it. Yes, I'm ready to do anything to try it. <laughs> While Sam is trying the cake, we'll put the filling onto our base here. The more filling there is, the better the taste. You've got to be careful with the edges, though. That's right. I think that's enough. Now we only need to smooth it all out. And the final touch. Beautiful! Wow! It's a gigantic cookie! Yes, we've made an Oreo that will be big enough for everyone. Right. I definitely won't be able to eat this cookie without you. Hey, Sam! Oh, I'm kidding. Let's hurry up and have some tea. I've got it all ready here. Guys, if you like this cake, give this video a thumbs up. And write in the comments whether you like Oreo as much as we do. Listen, Shu, if I eat all the M&Ms, will you make a cake out of them too? <laughs> Bye, guys. Sam, we need to have a serious talk. Bye, guys. Sue, come on. I'm kidding. be better than tea with some honey. What? Where did all the honey go? I took it! Hey, Susie! What's with the outfit? This is a beekeeper's hazmat suit. I'm headed to the backyard where we're going to have an apiary. Well then, what is all this for? Well, I'll quickly put up a hive or two. Put honey as bait and the bees will come. Sammy, no one builds up an apiary from some improvised props. It's a whole science. Really? How come I didn't think of that? Then, we need to urgently study this issue! You will help me, right? Only if you help me make something sweet to have tea with. Come on! Done deal! Hi, guys! I hope you're in the mood for a cake today. Oh, yes, Susie, I'm ready! Tell me what you need! Some flour, for starters? Actually, we won't be baking today at all. Huh? Would you try and guess what I have here? Let me see. I think it is. Shiver me jitters! Is it jelly powder? <laughs> it is! We're going to make an all jello tasty cake inspired by your new bee hobby. But first things first, we need to properly dissolve our jelly powder in hot water. Holy cannoli! My mouth is already watering! Be patient, Sammy, and you guys get ready to work out your wrist. Stir, stir. Working with Jell-O can be kinda tricky, but the result is totally worth your efforts. 
Right! Remember our aquarium jelly cake with fish and pebbles made of jello? It was so fun! All right, guys! Our mixture is ready! Don't forget to add some sugar to it, or your cake won't be sweet. Now let's divide it into smaller portions. So that it would be more comfortable to color it. Oh, <laughs> that's my favorite moment! <laughs> I said that we should color our jello! <sighs> Oopsie! Sorry, Sue! I got distracted a bit. There you go! Thank you! Sammy, I thought you were going to study bees closely while we're cooking. And I've already started! Wanna know some fun facts? Sure! Bring it on! Let me just change my outfit! <laughs> Let's get started! The science that studies honeybees is called apiology! And people have been breeding these fantastic creatures for thousands of years! Bees have five tiny eyes, yet somehow they can't distinguish the red color! They also have an ear for music and buzz differently depending on their mood! Hey Sue! Guess what I'm saying! Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> Are you trying to find out what is going to be next? Bingo! I mean, buzzingo! <laughs> well, we are gonna need this! Let's pour our colorful jello inside a syringe like this. As you might have guessed, we'll use different syringes for each color, guys. Here we go! Uh oh, I see where this is going. Hide, everyone! Whoa! <laughs> Calm down, Sammy. We're simply gonna use our syringes to make cute little jello bees with the help of this mold. Holy cannoli! Those mold producers can make anything from silicone, huh? Let's start with the white jello to define the little wings first. Don't rush at this stage, guys. Work neatly. Next comes black color. Just don't forget that black bee stripes should alternate with the yellow ones. Uh-huh, and the bee's head should also be black! Okay, when the first batch of jello sets a bit, we'll use some yellow to fill our bee up to the top, like this! It's not hard at all! Guys, I'm not allowed to work with sharp objects, so why don't we watch together how Susie does that? Now I'm gonna leave this in the fridge until the jello becomes firm enough. I'll be right back! Oh, a hot tub! <laughs> Nothing can be better than relaxing in hot water. <laughs> Where are you heading to, mister? Oopsie! We need this to make more jello. But Sue, the bees are chilling in the fridge! Can't we also take a break? Huh, I thought you'd rather have a cake. <laughs> Whoosh! Guys, this jello mixture is already familiar to you. We are going to make a few honeycombs now, so this time let's color it orange. In order to get a rich orange color, you may dissolve your jello powder and carrot juice! Oh, guys, look! Sammy O. Slimeone is here! Well, of course! Who else would teach you to cut your jello nicely? Everybody knows that honeycombs have a shape of a hexagon! Do you mean like this? Shiver me jaggers! I didn't know that we had such I a I believe mold. your alter ego missed this one! <laughs> I'd better go check those jello bees in the fridge! In the meantime, guys, let's fill our honeycombs up! Here we go! As always, try to work neatly! Oop! Now we'll get some more jello into the syringe! Wow, that looks so fun! Am I right, guys? Can I also try doing that, Susie? You didn't have to ask! Ha ha! Alrighty! And push! Oh, ha ha! Me like it! Actually, I can do that faster! Voila! Well done, Sammy! Now could you please be so kind to take all this beauty to the fridge? And I'm dying to see how our little jello bees turned out! Okay, let's see. We'll do this and… Guys, would you just look at these little cuties? They are adorable! Let me see, let me see! <laughs> Whoa, guys, did you see that? Now we have a lot of bees here! I didn't know that thing was magical! Well, Sammy, you'd better keep an eye on it, or we'll have jello bees everywhere! Mmm, <laughs> those look so delicious! If I could only try! Ta -da -ta -da. Ah! Oh, come on, Sammy! Can't you wait just a little bit? We're at the finishing line already! Although I must admit, these tiny hexagons do look like real tasty honeycombs. Oh. 
Mmm, would you just look at all this? Hurry up, Sue! While we are still able to keep ourselves together! You're right! Let's get it done! Guys, this is pretty simple! We are going to place these pieces onto the bottom of a baking pan trying to leave equal space between them. You should get something like this. Hmm, there is a big space left here. What will we do about that? We can always make some adjustments. Huck! There you go. You see? Problem solved. Here's the last one! Easy! Easy! Okay, it's all done, Sue! Excellent! Now, guys, this is gonna be hot in here! <laughs> We need to pour a huge portion of hot jello mixture all the way through the baking pan. Be very careful at this stage, or better ask an adult to help you. That is quite an amount of jello we are using today! You don't say, Sammy! Guys, give us a thumbs up if you like jello as much as we do! All right, all we've left to do now is wait a few hours until this cools down and sets. <laughs> or we could use some video editing magic! Whoosh! Let's see. Yup, perfect! For this, you should defo ask an adult to help you guys. Here we go. Huh? And basically, our cake is ready! Holy cannoli! It's perfect! Oh, I'm in heaven! Let's not forget about the beehive's dwellers! There you go, little one! Oh, you want to be on our cake, too? <laughs> Come on, guys, get in line! Guys, let's give Susie a few seconds to play and then we'll check out our cake! Sammy, this tea smells amazing! What is this? That's my secret, honey! I meant to say slimy recipe, Sue! Better tell me one thing! Are we going to taste this or not, hmm? Okay, okay, my very impatient friend! Oh, guys, I wish you were here to see and taste all this! Give me that, give me that! There you go! So, Sammy, tell me, where do you stand on that beehive in the backyard thing? Um, nom, nom. Right now, I'm standing next to this magnificent jello cake, and it's more than enough for me! Um, nom, nom. <laughs> I see! And thank Tibetaba for that! Guys, give us a thumbs up if you like this episode, and subscribe if this cake looks delicious to you! See you very soon, boys and girls! La, 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 la. All right. Uh, could you pour me some, too? Of course. Are you sure you've got everything right? Yes, I know this challenge. You need to spin a wheel and decorate your muffin with whatever you've got. Then let's go. Spin, spin, spin. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh-huh. What? Here you are. It's nonsense. A doll and a cake are not compatible at all. You just don't know how to match them! Let's go! I'll show you! What? That sounds interesting! Hi, guys! Today we're gonna make something really special! I bet you don't know how to combine a doll with a cake, but fortunately, Sammy and I will show you everything! Speaking of Sammy, I haven't heard from him for ages! Sammy, where are you? Hmm, vanilla sugar and vanilla extract. The eggs, but what for? Elementary, my dear Slimeston. Hey! First of all, we need to bake a cake. And these are the needed ingredients for it. But I thought we would just decorate the muffin. Oh, now I understand why you haven't eaten it up. As you can see, the doll is way bigger than your muffin. We need a really big cake. 
I'm gonna eat it now then! <laughs> As you wish, a small muffin has never harmed anybody. Guys, as you may have guessed, our future cake will serve as a poodle skirt. Oh, I can't wait to see the result! I bet it's gonna be great! Do you know what's next? Right! Elementary! We're going to mix it thoroughly! Great! Now we need to add some sifted flour to make the batter fluffier. Sammy! Would you be so kind to bring me the flour? Ahem, ahem. So the weather has changed! Now it's cloudy with a chance of flour fall! <laughs> oh, Sammy, you forgot the main culinary rule again! Never sneeze in a pack of flour! I don't know how it happened! I just wanted to check how much was left and then… See for yourself! Guys, we don't need a lot of flour. Ask an adult to help you, because we don't want our batter to be too thick. Sue, don't forget about the baking powder. Here you go. Oh, yeah. You're just in time, Sammy, as always. And this is it. All we have to do is add some salt. Be careful not to add too much, though. Now it's time to work out our wrist again. Let's speed up. You guess what's inside this jug? It's white, but not sugar. It's runny, but not water. It's plain milk. Actually, guys, it's not the first time we're making a cake. There are so many culinary videos on our channel. Have you seen a spooky cauldron cake? Or, or a huge Among Us imposter cake? I strongly recommend you watching them all to get inspiration. We're almost done, guys. The final touch is chocolate chips. Wait, Sue, hold on. I should look at the part! Now I'm ready! Give me that! Careful! It's very important ingredient! And in you go! You can never have too much chocolate! So, while I'm busy, can you please preheat the oven up to 180 degrees Celsius? Now you're the boss here? <laughs> okay. We need to bake our sponge cake for 45 minutes! But guys, you better ask an adult to help, because the oven is very hot! One can easily get burned! Hey, chef, everything's ready. The round cake mold is the best option for us. We're making a skirt after all. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Um, oh, it's so hard to decide. Ugh. Sammy, what are you doing there? Are you trying to recollect all the Disney princesses? Susie, such a wonderful cake should look like a princess, but I can't decide whom to choose. Oh, it's simple. Let me help you. The Little Mermaid won't do. Her tail is very beautiful, but still, it's not a skirt. Pocahontas is a good choice, but she doesn't like poofy dresses. So our choice is pretty clear. Okay, now I can start designing the cake. By the way, the time is almost up! It means we need to hurry up and make the frosting. Frankly speaking, it's my favorite stage of baking. The first step is chocolate. We'll use baking magic, but you guys can melt it in the microwave. Great! We'll come back to it later. The second step is to whip some butter. Sammy always trusts me with this kind of work, and you guys can ask an adult to help. Sue, I found some useless condensed milk. Will you manage to handle the frosting without me? I'm gonna have a tea break. Not so fast, mister. We need this for our cake. I can't do anything in this house! You know that's not true. It's just sometimes you need to wait to get the best result. Trust me, it's gonna be worth it. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we're adding melted chocolate! Sammy, if I understand clearly, you want to do it by yourself? No, I'm giving you a designer to do it, but I'm going to show you the way. Right here, please. <laughs> oh, Mr. Samio Slimeone, your vivid imagination always makes me smile. All we've left to do now, guys, is to mix the chocolate in properly. The operation was a success! It's all thanks to you, Sammy. You did a great job pointing at the target. <laughs> It's just my duty! Who else will make sure that everything's okay with the cake? 
<laughs> Actually, I think there would be many volunteers. Would you look at this, guys? We've got a wonderful frosting! So, did you hear that? The time is up! We need to take the cake out of the oven, quick! Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Don't need to yell. Guys, don't go anywhere! We will be here in a minute! The last step is decoration! I'm so excited! Guys, we can finally start assembling the cake! But first of all… Now you're talking! To make a skirt, we only need to use three sponge cakes. And also, guys, don't forget to make an opening to insert a doll inside. Let's get started! We need to try and make an even frosting layer. Do your best at this stage, people! And feel free to ask for help! Here comes the second layer. Great! And for the frosting… Let's use some magic! Whoosh! All done! We'll put this half spear layer on top to make it look even more like a skirt. Now we need to make a perfect shape by cutting out the edges. Guys, be careful while working with sharp objects. A knife is not a toy, so feel free to ask an adult to help. Sue, so, um, the whole bowl of frosting is left. Can I take it? Oh, Sammy, we still need it. I hope you haven't eaten it all. <laughs> I'm just started. If only I had enough time. Hail to Badaba. I had better hurry up here, guys. By the way, Sammy, how is it going with the dress design? Everything is thought through! A dress has many drapes of fabric! We have to repeat it! Okay, I can do that! It's not as difficult as it seems! Hmm, that's strange. I remember I rolled out the fondant perfectly! Boo! <laughs> ah! Sammy, you scared me! Phew! I just can't get used to his pranks! Don't hesitate, guys. Do everything nice and neat! A long hemline looks good, but this time we're trying to stick to the original image, so let's cut it off. Sue, what have you done? You've covered the opening! How's the doll gonna get in? Don't panic, Sammy! It's all under control! See? Everything's fine! Okay, ladies and gentlemen! It's a crucial moment! Drum roll! This is gonna be so cool! And… Perfect fit! Belle, you look amazing! What's next? We need to finish the dress, of course. I hope you didn't think we were gonna leave it just like that. Guys, you should always finish everything that you've started. And only after that can you move on to the next step. Don't forget about our gloves! They will finish the look! Thanks, Sammy! Here we go. Careful. It looks good. But something's still missing. What are you talking about? I don't get it. I have an idea! Bibbidi, bobbidi, subscribe! Wow, Sammy, this is amazing! Guys, how about looking at our cake in all its glory? Here we go! Oh, I've been waiting for this moment for so long! Yeah, tell me about it! Sammy, don't you feel a bit sorry to eat such a beautiful cake? Hmm? I do, but I want to taste it more! <laughs> okay, here you go! Thanks! I'll enjoy it in private! And one piece for me! Let's taste it! Finally! Oh, mm, yummy! It's so good, Sue! And I have only had one piece! <laughs> I can relate to you, Sammy! I could eat it non-stop! <laughs> Guys, give us a thumbs up if you want us to make more cakes! And you devo should make this one at home! Mmm, my precious! Don't forget to hit the bell button and subscribe to our channel! See you soon! Bye-bye!